All right, so we got KJ's perspective pulled up here. We've seen him play really well so far today. Very aggressive. That last match we watched of him, he was using that Jack Queen King and the one small step on Endless Veil. And even chat today has noticed how much playing against a Monarch can be frustrating and slow the match down. KJ did not give a flying frack about that Monarch. He held forward. He didn't even give that Titan time to draw a second shot. He would get tagged by the Monarch, but he just didn't care. He held forward. He'd get a shot with the one small step, throw a Celestial Fire, clean up the kill, and be in a 2v1 situation with his teammate time after time after time. Just kept the pressure up. That match, going against a Monarch, did not go to time. They hit the score limit, baby. You can see already just the, the raw aggression. Sounds like they're playing against another bow here. You hear it being drawn. Ricochet rounds. He actually got attacked. Did you see that? He got 40 damage. Shooting on the side of the wall. He gets another hit marker. Two hit markers. It must be a barricade maybe he's hitting. Was he hitting? Then he gets a little tap with the, the body shot there with the Jack Queen King. Using a ricochet. I've never seen people in a tournament actually intentionally using ricochet rounds to try and prime somebody up. Look at that movement. The raw aggression. Throws the grenade. Hits with the primary. Throws the celestial fire. Flanks around. Cleans up the damage. His teammate primed up. They go up 2-1. to one. The two tap of the rapid fire frame shotgun there. That's the one small step comes from the moon. That shotgun came from the moon. Eris Morn bounties. If you're ever interested in getting one of these things, I've got one with opening shot. I really like it. It's a very solid shotgun. He's getting aggressive. That's exactly what I was saying he was doing to the uh, the monarch in the previous match. He slides in, gets a shot with one small step, throws the celestial fire. This guy just showing how good Top Tree Dawnblade can be in the right hands. The mobility, the versatility. This is a subclass with some wonderful synergy built in. Nail Trick's able to do a lot of damage with that Drain Baroque there. Gets a little bit of damage with that Solar Grenade, makes him back off. The Titan has the bow out. He gets the kill with a shotgun on the Titan. Follows it up with some primary shots from the Jack Queen King. Headshots, even. Look at that! The reaction time. Takes a shot instantly, dashing away. Nail Tricks pushes up, gets the kill, and there is the slide. One small step, Celestial Fire combo again. Is it hot in here? Look at that movement. Gets the heck out, dodges both bow shots. The movement right now that we are seeing from KJ is unbelievable. Doesn't want to jump again and peek in front of that sniper rifle. He's got a super up. We'll see if he pushes into it. Both of those guys are lined up. There it is, he pops. He's gonna push down the hallway, coming around the flank. They retreat to pad. They're trying to get away to the C spawn. He gets hung up on some shapes. We'll see if he cuts in. He doesn't. He chases outside. Thinks he's got a better chance at landing the swords outside instead of in without that cover. Doesn't manage to hit anybody. Now he's in a 2v1 situation. A 10 kill streak even. They're up 12 to 3. Extending that lead. KJ absolutely on fire. And I sense maybe a budding bromance after this is all said and done. Gets a couple of the primary shots there. Misses out on an opportunity to get the shotgun kill, but then switches to it. Cleans up the kill on the bow. Again, like I said, the bow users are unable to deal with his raw aggression right now. Some solid primary shots. Swaps targets instantly. Switches to the one small step. Shoots a little bit low. His teammate coming in trying to clean it up, but their lead is 14 to 4. Slides into the engagement. Gets a couple of solid tags. Nail Tricks wins his 1v1. They're now in a 2v1 situation. Skates past the door, hits a his shot with the primary. Look at them, they're scared. He's backpedaling so far with that sniper rifle at this point. They just don't know what to do. He's gonna pull off this. He's thinking about being cheeky and going for that kill. Nail tricks his teammate, pops the arc staff, gets the double kill, the team wipe. They're up 17 to four. Three minutes left in this match. Holding forward. 
You see the transverse steps coupling with his movement right now. Almost able to trade out with the shoddy celestial fire combo, but they deemed him worthy of the solo nova. Throws that solar grenade, short stops it a little bit. Teammate Nail Tricks gets a pick. He's in a 1v1. Trying to line up a slide, uh, slide shotty shot there. The Warlock blinks up into his shotgun. Pulls a quick 180, does some damage with the one small steps. Teammate Nail Tricks cleans up the Titan from behind. Doubles back to mid. Catches the Warlock off guard. Goes down to the shoulder charge. They have a 21 to 8 commanding lead. Nail Tricks in a 1v1. Wins with the Drain Baroque. Getting pushed from behind. KJ's already up. Tags three times. Twenty-three to nine. Finally going down to the bow. Sounds like it's a wish ender. Nail Tricks gets a pick with a sniper rifle. Now in a two v one, the Titan can't get away. That's the victory. Twenty-five to ten. They absolutely could not handle the aggression. From Team Rice and Curry. Holy crap. Impressive, Guardian. You have an instinct for battle. KJ. 3,300 damage. A 4.0 efficiency. Went on a 12 kill streak during that match. Interestingly enough, one of the more frustrating matches that we witnessed today was on this same map against a bow. And it played so slow. But here, KJ is showing just how to handle those bow players. But a quick reminder, thank you so much to Mojo Desk for sponsoring the tournament this weekend and next. This is the same gaming desk, sit stand gaming desk that Astacross uses and our own Glad uses as well. Fantastic product. Has no wobble even at the highest setting. You just have to push a button. It's all electric and it'll extend up and down for you per your settings. Has a nice housing right there to hang your EC so it doesn't go anywhere. Cable management is easy with lots of magnetic attachments. Carbon fiber top to it. Makes it look pretty sleek. And uh, during the tournament only, if you're interested in snagging one of these things, you get $50 off. If you want to snag one of these, the link is in the description. But you have to use code TRUE to get a $50 discount. That's only good during the tournament. So if you're looking to upgrade your desk and you want to play just like GLAD except a little bit worse, snag one of these things. Save some cash while you do it.